Well, Petra, some great form in Australia. You played well in Adelaide, the United Cup, and then back here, round one at Melbourne Park. How did you feel out there today? It feels great. Thank you very much for the warm welcome, uh, guys. It means a lot. I mean, I had an incredible run in 2019, going in the final, and I still do remember I always have a ghost bumps when I'm stepping on the big courts here. And uh, yeah, I felt the love, and uh, I played pretty solid for the round, so I'm very happy with it. Obviously, round one, I might be a bit cheeky and ask more broadly about the tournament and how far you think you can go. You mentioned there you've made the final here before. The draw, in some respects, is pretty wide open. Do you feel like you're playing the sort of tennis to go through to a second week here? Well, I'm never checking the draw, so I don't really care. I'm, I'm happy that I'm, I'm in the second round. And, uh, you know, you never know. I think that every day is a different day, especially on the woman's side. So, you know, I'm just happy to be through, and I'm going to fight for the next one. And I uh, can't predict anything how far I can go, but I'm just here and enjoying AO again. We love our coffee here in Melbourne. I had a look at your social media before, and you mentioned you were looking forward to having coffee back here. What's your coffee order? Where do you like to go? It's almond flat white. Um, anywhere, actually. I think that our strong coffee is just amazing everywhere. So I'm just happy to have a coffee, guys. <laughs> we like to hear that. We love to see you back. Congratulations. Petra Kabitova through to round two yet again. Such a popular player. And she certainly did feel the love here on John Kane Arena. And she mentioned like the openness of the women's draw. And Iga Fiontek has the one three grand slams. The second to 14th seeds have not won one between them. Kvitova is the second highest seeded female to have won a grand slam, seeded down at 15.